man. As of this week, it's officially spring. Here to tell us if we can actually expect springtime weather, we have GME meteorologist Corrales Placencia. Yeah, it was officially the star of spring on Monday, and it has been feeling a bit milder, especially yesterday, but... Even with all the sunshine we're going to be having today, it's going to be feeling anything but warm. And especially with all these gusty winds, temperatures will start to even gradually drop as we get into the afternoon, you guys. And the reason for that is due to the, an Arctic cold front pass, passing through the region early this morning around 6 a.m. or so. And the temps will range from the mid-20s with the lower to mid 30s across southeastern Massachusetts, still in the teens in the higher elevations in Vermont and New Hampshire with 16 in Berlin and in Burlington as well. We'll reach up to 32 degrees today before quickly dropping down to the mid to lower 30s, um, 20s actually around 5 p.m. Warmest of the spots will be by the Cape, but that just means the Arctic air as has not reached them quite yet. It will affect everyone in the area tonight. Just look at the overnight lows. We're going to be having lows in the mid-teens throughout the map, single digits northwards towards um, Berlin. You can see two degrees. You can just imagine it's been a while since we've been having these temperatures this close to a zero with such a mild winter we've had this season. If we do factor in the winds as well associated with this passing cold front coming in from the northwest, it will be as high as 45 miles per hour at times. The wind chill values as low as minus one tonight as well as tomorrow. But Thursday's outlook has us with abundant sunshine still though, mid 30s throughout, 35 in Worcester. It's a little bit higher by the coast with 35 in Providence as well as New Haven. Still with those pretty strong wind gusts, we will eventually die down by the evening. We will be mostly clear at night, but we can see an increase in clouds as we go into the weekend. And on and off showers for the rest of your five day forecast at certain times. It will transition into snow briefly in the morning on Friday, but then mostly rain for the weekend. Sunday morning, we could see a brief wintry mix of snow and sleet before transitioning over to mostly rain with a chance of precipitation at 50 percent. It's like right when we feel like we won't be having snow, it always seems to pop up again. Last week's storm on Tuesday gave us a bit of an extended break for Good Morning Emerson, freezing our production of the show, no pun intended, but it's not uncommon for us here in New England to see all these fluctuations. That's exactly it. We have the New England weather. I decided to go for a run this morning and it was the mm. most miserable thing ever, just so cold. Terrible decision, like, Moses. Yeah. Carlos, please give us some good news. Tell us we're gonna get some warm weather soon. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say warmer. It might be a little bit more mild into the 40s, almost 50s this weekend, but it's going to be accompanied by some rain, even, even a mix of some snow showers, kind of like a wintry mix this weekend. So we'll have to wait about another week or so before we can actually start seeing the mild temperatures along with the sunshine again. But I know I, I agree as well. I kind of struggled trying to decide what to wear, if I should wear a dress or some pants today, but I want the pants. It's just a little bit too cold today, but... We'll have to wait and see when we start seeing the warm up once again. That's Thanks, exactly girl. it. It's the cold <laughs> challenges. Hi, I'm Jack Dodd, your music correspondent from Good Morning Emerson, and I really hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you would like to watch another clip from this episode, click the link on the left. If you want to watch another video from this season of GME, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching.